Hello everybody, back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Woodworking and although there's no wood in this project per se, um, really don't know what else to call this. So I'm going to stick it in that little area. Um, this will end up at one of my flea markets most likely. Don't know if they'll end up at the actual flea market booth because I'm not sure people will figure out what it is if I don't fill it. And if I fill it, it's going to make a mess because people are going to keep banging it around. And what I have here is a bird feeder. I'm going to use a bigger string. The string I've got right here is not big enough. Um, very top piece here is actually a um, creamer dish or sugar bowl. I'm not sure which. No, it'll be a sugar bowl. There's no pour spout. Upside down with a hole drilled through it. Obviously, the bolt right there coming through all the way through the thing, holding it together. That can unscrew. I'll probably put an actual wing nut on there so you can unscrew it, refill it, clean it, that kind of stuff a lot easier. Comes down here, and this right here is actually a glass flute. Um, off of a oil lantern. It's basically to keep the wind from blowing the flame out and that. I went with clear so you can see when the bird seed's empty. Also to help attract the birds, they'll see the bird seed and come down. Then below it is actually silicone, or not silicone, but two part um, fancy epoxy stuff that's glued to it, supposedly for glass and china and wood and rubber and all kinds of stuff. It's glued on there, but also held on by pressure. And there are three holes. You can, not sure if you can see them out there, there's one. You can see there's three holes drilled in there for the birds to be able to reach in and grab the seed. And then out here is a flowery dish. It was actually a wall hanger, but it's got really nice little ridges on it. So you can kind of see in through there. And the nice part about that is going to be give the birds a really easy thing to stand on while they're eating their seed. Also, catch a little bit of seed as it falls out for them to go ahead and you know eat that too. I contemplated having this plate here the opposite direction, but decided not to. I figure whatever hits the ground, they can eat off the ground, that kind of thing. So the nice part about it is this um, sugar bowl up here actually has two really nice handles. That's what I'm hanging the string from. And I have basically the bolt going all the way through a quarter inch um, 20 thread and it's got nuts on the end. And if you can see way up in there, there's a nut and a washer both kind of helping holding that somewhat um, level as the epoxy in that dried. So pretty much it's held in by pressure, but it's also kind of held together with epoxy so it's less likely to come undone um, quickly. And with this bowl being up top here, keeps the water running off the outside edge, not going inside with the seed and all that, ruining the seed as quick. So definitely, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I have no idea what it's worth. All this stuff was stuff I was really had damaged, like you can see here. This little cup here had a, has a chip in it. Well, maybe it'll show up. Has a chip in it right there, as you can see. Um, the plate also has a chip in it. And this bottom one was just, in my opinion, kind of ugly. So, I mean, for what it is, it works good. And I also have no idea what I'd ever use a flute for again off a oil lantern. So, definitely it's got a lot of time into it. Um, not much for materials. Of course, the epoxy and stuff costs money in that. But it's more time than it is material for cost there. So, I always hate trying to figure those up because you can't really charge an hourly rate because nobody wants to pay 40 bucks for this stupid thing. So, and then you figure everything else involved would probably be up in the $50 range minimum. So definitely I'll figure I'll probably put like 25 bucks on it, something like that maybe, and see if somebody's interested in a unique bird feeder. So that's all I've got for right now. Once I figure out what I'm gonna price it out, I will definitely let you know. And I even thought making a few of these and trying to sell them like on eBay and that and ship them out and not have to be worrying about taking it to flea markets and advertising it as much. So anyway, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Get out there and make something.